Roll. A lot of people develop restrictions here because of the weakness here. So this is below your traps, below your rhomboids. A lot of times that's because we're pulling back into extension. So you build up spasms in the traps and the rhomboids, but below that, posterior chain muscles, those muscles that sit in the canal between the spinous process and the transverse process are weak. So when I have him lift his head straight up, go ahead, not your head, but your whole body. There you go. He's activating posterior chain. That actually helps me adjust that, get a nice crack out of it. So that's all these muscles pulling our spine, the compression all the time. So we want to activate those, but first we need to anchor and tighten first. So we're going to give you an exercise for that. Get out of here, cow. <laughs> So I'm going to teach you the eight-point plank. So what we want to do, you might want to get this from the side. As we get down, we tuck our toes in. This looks like a half plank. It looks nice and easy, but it's not easy. Elbows are eye level. And I'm keeping my hands down, elbows down, my knees down, and my feet down. Those are the eight points. Now lift from the hips. And I'm driving up. So I'm using all those multifidus muscles, the posterior chain muscles, right here, driving my head up as high as I can. Hold that for 10 deep breaths. Using your core, pushing up as high as you can, resisting gravity. There you go. And that's it. That'll really help you. It'll help get more movement out of that back. So your muscles will be strong to hold you in that position.